let's talk about a classic approach. This is, so this is kind of outside exploratory testing was really made, uh, testing tours really made form, famous by uh, James Whitaker, but they're sort of, it existed sort of beforehand. Like, this is one classic approach that our team, uh, when I was in the Sybase uh, consulting side that we used, uh, it's, it was kind of a shell. So I won't say it's a, think of it as a template. I wouldn't say it's a written in stone kind of guidance to what we used to give to our guys before they started testing. So this is the classic, what we would call now the classic approach as opposed to James Whitaker's like, uh, uh, testing tours, okay? So you say, hey, you gotta start somewhere. So let's start this. Let's do a depth first testing on the happy path and we'll talk about this a little more. Let's add some alternative paths use some non-unit test cases off-road and then lastly we will go to this off-roading part okay so what does that mean so the first time we're going to use this positive case scenario the happy path is the technical term that testers love to use but the idea is this is that case where everything goes right let's test that works because usually if this doesn't work there's not much other stuff that will work so this is probably where you want to start for sure, a lot of people have different approaches. Usually, this is the place you start. Next one, what you do is you take a look at uh, very, you very critical and non-critical options and you kind of create this other path. So what we'll do is we'll start to, to change things up, okay? So that means uh, the previous one was maybe the happy path. Uh, design thinking, you might want to use a term like golden thread, right? That one thing that sells your application, that one key, key feature, key path. Then what we do is we start to derive from it, vary it, okay? Right? And then afterwards, when we still have some more time, let's go and do some abnormal data. Let's go and change it up. Let's, let's use cases that are kind of like not what people were thinking about. So we started from this path, we got this one, then, this, and then we got added a little bit more. And then last, let's do some, if we still have time, let's do some off-roading. This is the technical term that you use. There. Let's take a look at exception cases, abnormal, uh, abnormal cases. Let's do things like you know, serendipity, get involved, go at it. You know, border exceptions, ideas is off-roading. Off-roading, what it meant was you're going off the script. So other things in the previous one, if you have this path, this happy path, and the former wa waterfall rut methods, you should have very, that should be very, very clear in your SRS document, right? So that's well documented, right? You should look at the manual and you'll have like all the steps for that. This is very easy to get the information here, right? So as we get off-roading means that, you know, you don't have as much you're not on the road anymore. You're not going off holding all the road signs, right? Okay, so that's the way it used to kind of work out. So if I were to break it down into our testing world, say back up about 10 years ago, what we did is a unit test. We believe that the developer will do their own unit test and some level of quality of themselves, or Agile would say, Scrum, your definition is done, right? Some level of definition is done, right? The idea is in this test domain in here, you have, you know, you may come up with a test plan that comes end-to-end, -end, some alternative paths, some alternative data. So the, those were the four things in the end. And then at the other end, you're coming in from that side is testing that's come from the, like user acceptance. That's what UAT stands for, from the user side. From the Let's take a use case. Let's take an example of and apply that. I'm gonna show you how we'd apply that to this case here. So let's do some application of the classic model here. So use case, everybody is using ATM here? Anybody not using ATM? Anybody don't know what ATM stands for? Okay. Okay. okay, good. You maybe you insert your card, uh, you punch in a pin, you select withdrawal. Uh, in this case, most people, most of the ATMs have like, for example, checking and savings, whatever account. Uh, you enter an amount, you take the cash, and you retrieve the cash. Reality is probably like receipts in here. There's language support, but I'm just trying to give you that 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 is an end-to-end -end test because you had a result that you wanted, and you had a starting point. The idea is that we're looking for this happy path. Okay, we're looking for that one straight down end to end. I have a result that's easily convertible. If you're using Scrum, user story, we have acceptance criteria, SRS, you have an end result or something like that from a use case. But the idea is that that's the happy path. So we might vary it. There's lots of different ways to vary it, but this is one I chose to show you here. In that case, you insert your card. Instead of saying checking, you, you put savings, right? We're varying off the happy path, but just a little bit, okay? So abnormal data. Now we've finished all the happy path. We finished the happy path, we have some level of sort of, you know, not happy path type of things, they're switching things up. Let's go after the hard stuff, right? So, incorrect pin, right? You know, anybody put their pin in wrong three times? Like, you know, incorrect pin, right? We're testing that case scenario, right? Like, it, it's not any one of these uh, 
customer wants car to be eaten. No, <laughs> not, 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 not that's not the goal of the sentence. This, we're talking about abnormal things, like, you know, uh, try to punch in numbers and letters where you can't and that kind of stuff, right? So we're, we're kind of hit, trying to hit the system kind of hard. Off-roading. So now we come in off-roading. So what does that mean? Let's go test things that are not really sort of, they may be in the spec in some hidden sort of value. They may be sort of soft skills and stuff like that. But like I'll give you a couple examples and then let's see if you guys have other some. First one is like zero and negative balance, right? Let's go pull out some money, run the same test case with a different precondition, right? Like uh, simultaneously do online withdrawals from like different ones. A little hard with the card, but say you had like uh, uh, online banking, you try to do it at the same time or does anybody still use phone banking? <laughs> does it even exist? <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> okay. But hopefully from your cell phone? No. Oh, okay. Okay. That's hardcore. <laughs> uh, bank machine has out of money. Like, what does it do? Does it still debit the, your account? Like, well, is there any type of uh, system to fix that? Damaged card, you know, let's, 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 let's try to run it through. A couple things, account frozen, I don't know. It's interesting how uh, every time I kind of run through the example and I, I ask for different off-rolling things, it's interesting what kind of comes up. But the reason I mentioned that is that, that you very practically you saw that you know different testers come up with different results.